think that the, the free throws have been the deciding factor in this game. As a team, the Bulldogs are 6 of 14. Second free throw is up and it's good. Bulldogs trail by two, 128 left in the overtime. Inbound picked off by the Bulldogs. Layup no good, rebounded by Crawford. Demet Darius Phillips getting inside the inbound, gets the ball back. And Lorenzo Bottom is gonna go to the line. That foul on Brandon Jordan. And Bottom will go to the line. Darius Phillips all over the court, robbing the inbound ball. Free throw again, missed by the Bulldogs. So Bottom's second shot is up on the way. No good again. And who else gets that rebound? But Phillips, and the ball does get blocked out of bounds. And look who's checking into the game for the Bulldogs. Big David Rogers, the three-point threat. David Rib Rogers can't find anyone open, so he takes a timeout. A 30-second timeout. They have changed it to a full timeout. So the Bulldogs want to talk this one over. We're going to take a quick break here. 115 left in the overtime. Don't go anywhere. Bulldogs throw by two. We'll be right back. 115 left in the overtime. David Rogers going to inbound for the Bulldogs. They trail by two. It's been a hard fought game. Gets it over to Kyle Halloway. Eagles want to walk. Didn't get it. Three pointer, no good. David Rogers, just not enough legs left to get that shot to go down. Kennedy gets the rebound. And on the drive, Raphael Dunson will go to the line. And that is Kalik Spicer, the foul. That's his third. So Raphael Dunstan will go to the line to shoot two. First shot is up and he drains it. Which extends the lead to three. The second free throw by Raphael Dunstan is on its way. And it's good. And the Bulldogs find themselves again on the wrong side of a four-point deficit. Only one minute left in the game. And the coach for the Eagles wants a timeout, but he did not get it. And Bonham has it for the Bulldogs. Bonham gets a shot out for three for Crawford. No good. And the Eagles have it. And Rodgers has no choice but to foul Darius Phillips. And he will go to the line to shoot two. Second foul by David Rodgers. So stepping to the line now for the Eagles, Aaron Hayes to shoot two. First one's no good. Spicer with the rebound. Another big rebound for Spicer. Bulldogs trail by four. Just 40 seconds. Bottom has it for the Bulldogs. Gets it over to Holloway. Holloway on the drive. Finger roll. Gets it to go down. 27 seconds left. Bulldogs trail by two. Crawford almost got the steal. Can't get it. On the drive. No good. Blocked by the Bulldogs. And here comes Bonham. No good, rebounded by the Eagles. And big rebound there by Raphael Dunson. 
Bonham on the drive. Looks like he had a clear path, but could not get it to go down. And the Eagles will go to the line for one and one. Bulldogs have had opportunity after opportunity in this game, but they have just not been able to put it all together. It's been a hard fought battle on both sides of the ball. And right now, the Eagles are on the right side of a two point lead. 9.8 seconds left. So I guess they didn't call a foul. And the Eagles will have to inbound. Brandon Jordan on the inbound, gets it over. And finally the Bulldogs foul, Raphael Dunson will go to the line. 5.3 seconds left, his team leads by two points. That foul was on Lorenzo Bonham. So Dunson will be shooting a one and one here. First shot is good. And the Eagles now lead by three. 5.3 seconds left. Dunson's second shot's on the way. No good, Spicer with the rebound. And Coach Vernon Crump wants a timeout. And you know who he'll be looking for in this game will be David Rogers to hit a three-pointer. The Bulldogs, once again, have had the opportunities in this game. Just seven for 16 from the free throw line. Just a reminder, Bulldogs fans, stick around after the game with my interview with Coach Vernon Crump with his thoughts on the game. You're watching Bulldog Basketball on BulldogCountry.org. I'm Derek Kerr. I hope you've enjoyed the broadcast tonight as much as we've loved bringing it to you. This is the last broadcast of the season from Dearborn Heights. While I have this break in the action, I would like to thank Mike, Nate, and Chris for all their help here tonight. Mike and Nate getting you the great shots that you've seen on your screen. And Chris, my statistician and audio engineer here today, doing a great job. So here we go. 4.3 seconds left. Bulldogs trail by three. They got to go the length of the court. Bottom to inbound. Bottom, Bulldogs that go the length of the court, gets it to Spicer. Spicer looked like he had an open shot, gets over. Three to attempt, no good by Darius Phillips. And that's how the game will end. Kennedy wins a thriller in overtime. 54-51 over the Bulldogs. I'm Derek Kerr. We'll be right back with the interview from Coach Trump. Derek Kerr here with Coach Vernon Crump. And Coach, you had a good shot to win the game tonight. You guys fought hard. How about just a few words? Uh, it was a good team, good, good, good battle. Uh, Kennedy's got a good basketball team, good players, and I think both teams executed well. Uh, we had our share of turnovers um, and missed free throws, uh, but we got a chance to win it, so that's all you can ask for. Yeah, your free throw is what really was the difference in this game. You know, you guys were 6 of 19 from the line. Talk about how that impacted the game. Uh, you know, tremendously. You know, it's, it's self-evident. Uh, our players really got to get in the gym and uh, really focus on our fundamentals and free throws, and uh, we'll start to make those in big games. Okay, Coach, thank you very much. Thank you.
So the Bulldogs lose by three here tonight in Dearborn Heights in overtime. It was a hard fought game. Unfortunately, the Bulldogs end up on the short end of the stick. I'm Derek Kerr with all the people here who helped me here tonight, and I hope you enjoyed the broadcast.